Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. <laughs> Times 10 raised to the 6. 
we can see that it has halved after the collision. We can see that the kinetic energy is exactly half. Can you explain why it is half? I'm pretty uh, sure because there were two objects involved in, uh, no, no. Uh, there were two identical objects involved in the collision, so the mass, uh, when the mass is multiplied by two, the velocity would get half. But since so uh, this is velocity squared, we, no, no, uh, the velocity would get half. So velocity squared would make up for a fourth, meaning two n times one fourth would be no two. And one fourth would be one half. It equates to one half. It's kind of a magic explanation. Now I get it. Uh, who would like to give us an eraser? Or maybe I can here. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, was it the do now? Yes. That was just the do now. Why do you know the do now with that chaotic? Lesson surely must be hard, right? Wrong. Well, lesson is way too easy. So, let's say you have a ballistic pendulum. This is uh, easy. Ballistic. So, it's so just a pendulum. Yeah. Um, pendulum is when something hanging on something on it. Oh. If you're hanging on a rope, you're a pendulum. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't talk about it. If that. Mr. Rodriguez is hanging on the rope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just, just stop. Just stop. Okay. Let's see. 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 I, uh, so we have the ballistic pendulum, and the ballistic pendulum is used to measure the speed of a certain projectile. So in this case, we'll say a bullet. So the speed of the bullet, so we're going to focus on the speed of the bullet tomorrow to make up for how easy it is today. So we're not going to find that today. So this is before the collision. This had mass m2 kilograms. And the bullet had mass m equal 0.1 kilograms. So this is before and after the collision. The pendulum rises up. You don't have to clap. The pendulum rises up, and remember, the bullet is lodged in it, so they're mass out together. So 2.1 kilograms. And it's like, it's simply 0.75 meters. So, today is going to be just really easy. Find the PP. This is easy, right? Yeah, MGH. No, uh, Professor, can you set it to like um, the the equations? Uh, for example, let me see. Uh, you want to find the potential energy. No. Uh, and you said the yeah. potential energy should be the same, right? Potential energy before is equal to potential energy after, right? Oh, conservation of energy. Yeah. Uh, no, that's PE log. That's PEB plus KEB equal PEA plus KEA. The potential energy can be transformed into kinetic energy. So can you do PE plus KE plus K? Uh, no. Yeah, there will be zero. Yeah, Professor, you can write them. Okay, I guess. PEB. Have P P initial plus K initial equals P P final plus K final. Really? So now? No, they're wrong. Yeah, this uh this uh, is a 
an incredibly easy problem. Oh, is it? Yeah, the one that's overthinking. I oh. need it. So, we need to be the average. Uh, 2.2. Not 2.2. 2.1. Not 2.1. Yeah, 2.1. Yes. Okay. So, now we have to get the average of the average of the average of the So of the average of the average of the average of the average of Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.